In this video, traders, we're going to look at the hazards of being a screen slave. Stay tuned. Hey guys, the hazards of being a screen slave in your trading. Before we get on to that, I just want to thank you for your subscription, for your comments, for your likes, for your shares, for your general support. Much appreciated. Also want to thank you for asking questions. I've got a nice bank of questions now that we're going to use as kind of seeds for video content moving forward. It might be already uploaded. Um, it might be coming whenever you're watching this. So, you know, if you want to have your notifications turned on, then please do so. But don't put them on if it's going to affect your trading and it's going to start pinging off. You know, I'm a big thing about that. I, I've got a big thing on my phone where I don't have notifications because I don't want to be alerted. I'll have times when I'll be batch looking at stuff that I want to look at. Anyway, I digress. So I appreciate your comments, appreciate your questions um, and the good questions or questions that kind of are, are a lot of similar questions or questions I feel I haven't covered before that I'll do a video about. So thank you for those and keep them coming. It is much appreciated. And also majority of the comments, super positive. You guys are a great kind of bunch of subscribers, a great bunch of viewers. Uh, you're always going to get a few people who say some things in there, but that's life guys. And I notice a lot of you guys come on and kind of correct people and say, hey, you may not agree with this guy all the time and I don't agree with him all the time, but I'm picking bits of information that I can take into my trading and that's exactly what it's all about i know you're not going to agree with all the videos you're not going to like all the videos but if there's a couple of them that can help move you forward a little bit then that's a win right back to this topic guys concentration levels number one this is talking about the hazards of being a screen slave so in other words sitting in front of the screen from kind of 7 a.m to 10 p.m if you're trading european session and u.s session um, which many day traders do or whatever it may be the concentration levels it's hard to keep up your levels of concentration by the way you this is the, the big one we get to here is going to be number three so hang around for that one Concentration levels, tricky to keep up that level of concentration. Now, I'm on the fence a little bit here with this because my view of this is, if you're a day trader, guys, is if the opportunity is there, then you've got to go flat out and it's going to be challenging, it's going to be tiring, you're going to be mentally drained. But if your strategy is working with the market conditions that are there at the time, then press it. Because the mistake that I've made when I first started out, when I hit a real good strategy that was working, was thinking that that was going to last forever. And so you think, yeah, yeah, you trade it, trade it, trade it, and then it changes, and then you have to adapt and, and put another strategy. Then another strategy comes in, and it might be a couple of months before you're trading water, kind of your account size just kind of dwindling a bit, up a bit and then you get a big get a growth when your strategy starts to kick in again so from a day trader's perspective if it's working then put the hammer down and make as much money as possible from that strategy while it is there that's the only thing i can say on that however if you're talking about sitting in front of the screen just for the sake of it don't do it because it's very difficult to get the concentration levels and it's very, very easy to end up doing something that's damaging to your trading. You're trading in a way that you're taking trades you shouldn't be, you're backing, and listen, we've done a video on this before exclusively, but the point is if you'll find your concentration levels are dying off and are dripping down or however you want to phrase it towards the afternoon, then just stop trading then. It's just too much of a risk. You know, all that hard work in the morning, catching that opening drive, all that stuff for day traders in the evening, if you're not on form, you're not undoing all the good work. So just stop if you need to do that. So concentration levels is a big one about being a screen slave. Two is the urge to trade in every small move. Big one for me, this. You're sitting in front of the screen. The day isn't quite as good as it could be. The opportunities aren't quite as there. And listen, as traders, we love volatility, right? Volatility equals opportunity. Gives us more setup opportunities per day, which means if we miss a few, there's always going to be one coming along next. And that's why it's so great. When it's quiet, we get the urge to trade on every little tick. It's moving up a little bit. Oh, I'm going to fade that. And we end up overriding our rules just because we've seen something that we think is decent. And it generally isn't. Well, number three is the big one, guys is that not being in sync with your strategy time frame. I see this a lot from traders and, you know, made these mistakes as, as all these videos we talk about mistakes, guys, you know that I, if there's a mistake out there in trading, I have probably made it. So this is one of them as well. If you're trading maybe a higher time frame, and that could be a swing trader's time frame, multiple days, could even be a day trader's time frame, but you're looking maybe at a whole move of the day, like multiple hours, then you start looking at a one minute candle or a five minute candle and it screws the whole thing. Now, caveat to that, if you're using a short term trader's entry for a swing trader's trade, 
that's different. You wait for your entry, you fine tune it, or your exit, you watch it, you leave it. This is talking about when you're watching the five minute chart, when you're actually trading on a four hour or a daily chart. You shouldn't care what's happening in a five minute, five minute, five minute window. It's irrelevant to you. All that matters is what's happening at the end of the day, the end of the four hour period, whenever it is. And the trouble is, it kind of is all mixed into one really, if you start looking at the time frame that has nothing to do with the time frame you're trading on, you're going to want to meddle with it. You're going to want to do stuff. You're going to be looking at it through a different lens rather than the lens of the investor. If you can imagine hedge fund managers, mutual fund managers who are investing in things for a longer term, start looking at a one minute chart every day of the instrument, it just wouldn't get the performance. So make sure you're watching the time frame. That's the danger of being a kind of screen slave is that even if you uh, you're swing trading, but you like to sit there and watch it. Be careful about those low time frames, guys. Just and also, you know, unless you need to be in front of the screen doing that, is there not something else you could be doing? If you're trading, perhaps you could do some other research to it. Can you be reading a kind of trading book? All this stuff, you know, adds little bits of improvement to your trading that necessarily have to be watching every tick go by. So watch out for that one. Number four is the urge to meddle with your trades. Very similar to these two. Uh, but the same kind of thing. The urge to meddle is massive, isn't it? You know you know it, I know it. If you've been in this situation, you're probably nodding your head now uh, and going, yep, I know exactly. You're in a trade, starts flicking around against you a little bit. Oh, should I come out? Should I Should I? T oh, should I take the pro should I take the profit? Oh, and you start adjusting and, and ju jumping ahead of your trading plan, not sticking to it. And that's only because you've got that kind of force coming in that's saying, look, stuff's happening, flashing lights, markets moving, candlesticks spiking, volume coming in, this, that, the other. And you start referencing that and saying, well, I should be doing something with that. I should be doing, I don't want to give back money. I'm going to be really clever here. I'm going to take it off. It's going to go lower. I'm going to put it back on lower and I'm going to get double what I expected. Never works, guys. Very rarely works. Stick to your time frame. Don't meddle with the trade once it's on. You've got your plan, unless it's in your plan. Number five, and this is what I kind of added to it. A lot of people are saying that sitting down is the new smoking, the health aspect of it. Now, you know, you could have a, solutions to this and someone's probably going, well, I'll have a standing desk and that's a great solution. Uh, if you can have a standing desk as well, then you kind of negate that and you can get rid of that completely. But many of us don't, many of us sit there and we sit there all day. And there is something to be said that if you are going to end up damaging your back or doing something, you're not going to be able to trade when the time is right. If you're sitting there all day long, just waiting for an opportunity and there's not plentiful opportunities when there are opportunities and you want to be sitting there you might be in so much pain you can't even do it so think long term guys i know it's not really trading related but it's worth putting in there you know a lot of traders have back problems a lot of traders who are kind of gone through their time with trading say hey you know what you know my back isn't as good as it could be and they're having to kind of do stuff to keep it in check so just be aware of that guy is it because of trading specifically Perhaps not, but we know that sitting down, a lot of studies say that it's super, super bad for you, not only from a back perspective, from other stuff. So it's worth bearing in mind saying, hey, if there's no opportunity there, you don't need to be a screen slave. Well, by all means, when there's opportunity, get your head down, make that money while it's there and you're in sync with the market. But the point is a screen slave to me is someone who's always there, regardless of whether there's opportunity or not, and is too afraid to step away because they might miss something. Just step away, give yourself that break, and all all these benefits will start coming your way. All right, guys, appreciate your support. Take care, whatever you're doing, and keep the risk managed. Goodbye.